Hey, how's it going guys? It's Matt, so wrecked, and welcome to episode number two of Let's Play RuneScape. Before I begin, I just wanted to personally thank you guys for checking out episode number one of this series. The feedback was really great, and I can definitely tell you guys really want more of these types of videos. If you guys really want me to produce these though on a daily basis, I really would like you guys to help me reach the goal that I set every video, the like goal. Um, as long as we hit those goals, I will definitely continue to deliver on a daily basis with these videos. Now, that being said, the reason why I ask for this feedback is just so that I can get an idea of those of you that like this series, that don't like it, don't like the content that I'm producing. Um, just gives me that feedback that I need to continue. It also motivates me, you know. I know a lot of people uh, ask for likes and comments and all that, but it really is the motivator for a lot of YouTubers. It keeps people going. Uh, you know, I know that uh, videos are videos and uh, you produce them if you want to, but, you know... Uh, if you guys don't like something that I'm producing, I'd just rather you guys tell me so that I don't produce it anymore. Um, but that being said, I got five new topics to talk to you guys about, and if any of them strike a nerve with you and you want to just skip right to them, you could just hit the skip annotation. Um, so I got Slayer, I got high risk PK commentaries, I got flipping to talk about, as well as my game design class where I get to design my own game. I know that's going to really uh, keep you guys interested because like uh, it's really cool what I'm actually working on, so I'd love to share it with you. Um, and also, finally, the Rune Society and all the updates that are going to be going on with that. Got some really awesome news with you for you pertaining to the Rune Society. So, let's begin with Slayer and those Sizzling Summer Rewards. I'm going to be using the Sizzling, sizzling, I can't even talk, sizzling Summer Rewards on Slayer because I really just want to get uh, 80 to 85 Slayer. I really want to kill Abyssal Demons. I always wanted to kill those. I, I, I was just never able to. I never slayed ever you know on any of my accounts my main doesn't have 99 slayer never even got 85 slayer on any of my accounts um oh my gosh there's so many people here now but you know what we'll just stick it out um yeah it's just one of those skills that i've actually found recently to be a lot of fun and i'm going to continue to do it uh the two exp lamps that i'm going to be getting should take care of it i'm going to get well not to 85 but it'll get me to like 81 to 82 um, somewhere in between there, and then it'll make my life easy to get to 85, but that's not where I'm going to stop, I'm going to continue to go past that, go to 99, hopefully, before the evolution of combat drops, uh, it's really just, uh, my goal, it's one of my goals now, I kind of changed my goals up, I've went from summoning to slayer, I really want to go with slayer, and I'm going to stick with it, I promise you guys, I'm going to go as hard as I can, um, not really, I'm, I'm going to play leisurely, but I'm going to, I'm going to continue slayer, that's what I'm going to do, that's my goal, slayer, and maxing out my zerker, attack, HP and Mage. Those are my goals. Before the evolution of combat drops, I want to get 99 attack, 99 HP, 99 Mage, and try to get as high Slayer as possible. I don't know if I can get 99, but we'll see how it goes before the EOC drops. And those of you that don't know what the EOC is, it's the evolution of combat. It's the, you know, if you're new to RuneScape, you don't know what the evolution of combat is. You know, there's a lot of videos out there uh, explaining what's going to be happening with that. I mean, you can go check that out on your own time. It's not something I really want to talk about today. Um, Second topic, We've got high risk PK commentary coming out, uh, and that's going to be with a Santa hat. I'm not risking it. I'm going to be risking though about 50 to 60 mil in the commentary of VLS, uh, Fury, Berserker Ring, a lot of other cool gear. Um, I really want to produce a high risk PK commentary, a true risk, uh, and really risk it. You know, try to get some risk fights and, and DM people and do all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, I really want to have a, a, a real commentary out for you guys. I know a lot of you guys are sick and tired of me doing welfare and comboing with the Catech Mole, prodding it up with the Karasian AGS claws and all that. So I'm going to produce a unique commentary in which I actually PK legitimately um, instead of just prodding it up and venge comboing people. Uh, so that's what you guys have looking uh, have to look forward to. There won't be many uh, voices. It'll be a laid-back commentary with some reactions. I might go, ooh, ah! Oh my, no, never mind. That's a little bit... That was just bad. Uh, but... You get the point. There might be some reactions. If I get a good kill, if I get a 50 or 60 mil kill, I'm going to react. I don't care. It's just how I am. Um, so, yeah. That will be coming out in the next couple of days. I'm really waiting to get my uh, Sizzling Summer rewards because I want to use a Whip Vine uh, and not use the Rapier and a, and a Santa and all that, you know, because I don't... I just don't want to risk the Santa on the first commentary just in case something goes wrong. I, I do plan on having higher risk videos coming out on top of that in the future, but for now, I just want to risk, you know, a marginal amount, 50 to 60 mil, that's not really marginal, it's kind of a lot, but, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm rambling now, let's move on to flipping, 
flipping, flipping, flipping, flipping. All right. So I'm going to put up a picture right now. You guys can see that I've made uh, some money with flipping party hats and Santa hats and a couple other rares. Um, I've also been flipping claws and AGSs. I know that there's a GE limit, but uh, you know if you do it every four hours and you, you go through your list of items that you can flip, um, like claws, AGS, usually items that people really have a high demand for. Uh, whips, though, oh, excuse me, those always work. Whips always work. Pure Essence works if you don't have that much money. You know, runes always work. No, don't matter if they're going up or down, you can always flip them. Um, I don't have a flipping guide myself, but I can leave a flipping guide in the description that I've personally used uh, to help me out. Um, also, uh, I plan on you know trying to make some gold also from Slayer and also things like that. So I'm trying to trying to build my bank further than it already is. I just want to keep my bank replenished while I uh, do high risk PK comments, commentaries, just in case I lose a lot of items, you know. But uh, that being said, let's move on to the next thing, the topic that I really wanted to talk about. Game design. You know, I'm, I've had the unique opportunity this semester to take a game design game industry course, and it was pretty ironic. The first topic we talked about was microtransactions. Ah, oh, man. It, it was a huge debate in the class about if a game should have microtransactions or not, and establishing it from the start of the game. You know, you know basically, the thing is, if you design a game and you produce a game, you can't release it for free. Um, especially if you're a business or a company, it's, it's very hard. You can't pay employees unless you have a grant or something like that. We're learning about grants and game grants and things like that. Uh, it's a huge topic. Um, those of you that are interested in game design, game development, um, it's a really cool course to take. If you ever have the opportunity to take a game industry course, I would definitely take it. It's not just playing games or producing games or developing or designing games. It's actually learning about the industry and why certain companies do what they do. Um, now that being said, I'm actually going to be designing my own game um, and I'm going to be combining a bunch of different games that I've played and trying to come up with a unique mini game that kind of encompasses and incorporates little things. Um, for RuneScape, uh, I'm going to be taking all the monsters that are really pest like, they're just annoying as hell in this game, and I'm going to put them into my game. Now, it's not going to have anything to do with RuneScape, but basically, I want to take a lot of the monsters that you guys hate. And I hate, like scorpions, okay? Everybody hates scorpions. Everybody hates those little skeletons that uh, hit you in the wilderness. So if anybody, if everybody wants to leave a comment and just let me know what type of monster you'd like to see in my game design. Now, I'm not saying I'm, I'm going to develop this game, but I would love to uh, come up with the game design and have these monsters in it. Uh, just leave a comment with a monster that you think is annoying in RuneScape and you'd love to see in another game. Basically, the objective of the game is going to be to just destroy the pests, but um, in a unique way. Not like pest control in RuneScape, but also in a different way. So uh, that's really the game that I'm working on. Uh, don't have too much details about it yet. I still have to design it further, um, but it's going to be really cool. It's going to be like a mini game uh, that's going to have waves of monsters and things like that, but it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a cool new type of mini game. Um, and I'm working on it. I'm working on the design. Yeah, I can't even talk today. I'm like rambling. But anyway, uh, so leave a monster in the, in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, so final topic I'd love to talk to you guys about today is the Ruin Society. Well, a lot of videos have not been put up on the Ruin Society as of late just because I haven't gotten many good submissions. I'm sorry for those of you that have submitted and then have not gotten your videos up. It's just I'm looking for quality content, produced content that really took a time to edit or a quality commentary. Um, you know, if you just stringed clips together, then it just doesn't doesn't sit well with me. I'm sorry. Um, but that being said, my whole outlook for the Ruin Society is going to be changing come November and December. I'm going to be relaunching the site. Uh, as the RuneSociety.com and have the YouTube channel that goes along with it. It's going to be a full-fledged content site where there's going to be live streams and videos and updated content from all the directors, a lot of featured content. If you want your content featured on the Rune Society, it's going to automatically be featured because it's going to be a place where you can submit your content. As long as it meets the requirements, it will be approved by one of our directors and You'll see it directly on the website, so you'll be able to get instant feedback on your videos. So I have a huge vision for the site and a huge vision for the channel. 
Um, and I really want to help people out with their YouTube channels. I know a lot of people really want to start getting into RuneScape again, and I know a lot of people also are quitting RuneScape. So it's a kind of this clash right now where there's people that are quitting, people that are new, this out with the old and with the new. You know, I don't know if you guys consider me old or new or what, but um, there's a lot of old school PKers that are just are leaving us, unfortunately. But I hope they come back. I know Bodie's coming back in November, which is really cool. I can't wait to see him come back. I know everybody needs to take a break from time to time, and I hope that you guys can continue to watch his content um, when he comes back. Uh, but that being said, guys, that's really everything that struck a nerve with me, and that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. If you have a topic that you'd love for me to discuss in my next episode tomorrow or the next day whenever... Uh, I produce one. I'm, I'm hoping that we can make these daily, just as long as I get the feedback, guys. A like will really help me here uh, to continue to produce these daily videos in addition to everything else I'm producing for the channel. Uh, just let me know, guys. A comment really helps me out. It really just... I read everything. I'm telling you. Last video only got 100 comments, so I only spent like an hour reading comments, you know. If you guys leave me a couple hundred comments, I'll be able to spend more time reading what you guys want. Um, leave some constructive criticisms and let me know. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed today. If you guys have not checked out my channel and all my other content, be sure to subscribe to the channel for future stuffs. Uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Have a good one, guys. And peace out. We're like 78k away from the attack level. I'm going to go finish this up now. Peace out, guys.